people want to talk about divest from from America and they don't want to invest in themselves. And that's yeah, a problem. I, now, I don't I don't agree we should be divesting in America and I don't because we're Americans. We 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 must get it through our heads, too, that this is just as much as our country as anybody else. In fact, we were here at this very founding of it. But I want to ask you a question. What's up? Because we all seem to talk about black women a lot. Would you agree that in the black community, she must be addressed first? She 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 must be healed of her sickness. I personally think that black women without the healing of black women, our community is doomed because they're the loudest. They talk the loudest. They have the biggest influence. And as you said, as men, we got to address them first. And many of us are afraid to do that. Before I'm a black man, I'm a man. Before I'm a man, I'm a human being. Right. Whatever your problem is. Hey, you need to go heal your traumas. I cannot I cannot be held accountable for your behavior. I can't do it. I got to fight my own traumas. I have to go out and do the thing. So while you over there misbehaving, I'm going to try my best to create the media that sets a standard. And if you want to come and follow my lead, that's fantastic. If you do not, baby, that's your choice. Free will is the most bestest gift that God gave any person. And black women right now have the free will to act a fool. And they are doing it in abundance. In abundance. In abundance. And I think that's why they get addressed so much. You know, it's funny. On TikTok, the highest percentage of women that watch my video. Well, I said, just said it. The highest percentage of people that watch my videos are women. And I'm assuming it's black women. <laughs> and, and, it's, and it's funny. So I definitely think that they know they need a message. They need some guidance in what they're doing. Um, because now we have surveillance. We have surveillance in such a way we hadn't previously. So now we get to see the vileness and in, in the perversion that we practice. Are you comfortable with it? Are you comfortable with the perversion that you have? And I don't think this question was even answered last time is who are you helping by walking out the house half naked? They got so angry in the comment section. Look, you know, you get a percentage of the breakdown when it comes to the views. Right. right. And so out of thousands of views, the like to dislike ratio was like 55%. Those women were hitting the dislike button in the buttons. <laughs> you can't tell me what I can wear. You should go mind your own business. Hey, beautiful women who want to do your own thing. If, if that's your business, that's your business. But don't come running to me when someone tries to take it. Don't come running to me when he don't, when he want to have nothing to do with you. Ooh. Don't ask me for my help. You got it. Okay. As I said, we're going to make this a shirt. If I can't correct you, I can't protect you. You want my protection. You must receive my correction. <laughs> you have to. So, you know, I think these women are very confused as to how many people see them when they're out uh, half naked. Do you know what their problem is? What? They got penis envy. <laughs> women running around here with penis envy. All they can say. Their That's own, a mushroom. Their only argument I is. Think. Their only argument is. Um, if you can do it, I can do it too. Sweetheart, I'm willing to fight for it. I'm willing to sacrifice my life for it. And if you can't do that, then you just out here just giving it away for free. I'm willing to fight and defend my ideas. Can you do that? Can you say the same? I don't think they can. I mean, they can. They, they can't say the same because they can't do the same. They can't do it at all. They can't defend their ideas physically. Um, I've even said this before, even with black women. It's like, just like in the case of this woman who had her son... Uh, come and kill this man who attacked her. Why do you even think it was possible for you to be in conflict with the man who is significantly stronger than you? And then you put your son in a place to have to commit a murder. You know what I'm saying? Son husbands are scary. They yeah. are terrifying things. Women, man, goodness, they're the most vulnerable person. The most vulnerable group of people in our society are single women. The most vulnerable group of people in our society are single black women. And then those women, they lean so heavy on their little boys. They just lean because you ain't got no man. You can't keep no man, but you got an idea in your mind what a man is. And so you take your idea of what a man and you project that on your son. And you completely emasculate him. And then now you got yourself a little pit bull. Just as how social media has helped continue to program us, it will take media and content like this. Like you say that if they follow them, because they're going to watch, they're watching anyway, they're disliking it. This is the type of material that's going to change their lives because they need information.